Hello everybody and welcome to Next Stream. Today we're going to be opening up a kind of sealed NES game. So uh, let's jump in. Like nothing you've ever seen in your life, Nibs. Look! Everybody, welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into this unboxing of this NES game. So this game, um, I got it off eBay for about $30. It was advertised as sealed, but with a little bit of label damage. Now what the label damage meant was it's actually sliced along the top so the box can be opened, but this plastic's all on here. It's still in really good shape, all the plastic. Like I said, they just sliced the top so they could get the game out, it looks like. Um, it even has the original hang tab on the box. Now, this game is Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates. This was one of my t favorite TV shows growing up as a kid. I used to love this cartoon. It was built along a lot of the hype from Steven Spielberg's Hook. Um, this cartoon was on Fox Kids. I used to absolutely love it. The, uh, the whole the whole premise is like, you know, Peter Pan and the Lost Boys and Wendy, they'd just be going on all these adventures, battling Captain Hook and all these other guys, and uh, it was a pretty cool show. The voice actor who did Peter Pan, he uh, was also actually the same voice actor that did Binks the Cat in, uh, in Hocus Pocus. Take good care of Danny Max. You'll never know how precious she is. And uh, Tim Curry actually did the voice for Captain Hook on the show as well. <laughs> so I absolutely used to love this show, one of my favorites of all time. Let's get into opening this up. Like I said, the seal's already broken, so you don't have to get mad in the comments that I opened a, a 30 year old sealed game. I'm not. The seal's already been broken. It's just in, in like I said, the, uh, the seal's in great shape with the hang tab and everything, so I'm gonna be very careful not to damage it. So, starting, let's look at the outside of the box. Um, you have the uh, the art of the game, Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates, with uh, THQ Incorporated. So this is kind of interesting because I've never seen THQ spelled like this with the dot in the middle between the T and the H. And it's kind of neat because I did not know this, that THQ stood for Toy Headquarters. Um, that's kind of cool, I didn't know that. Uh, they, I guess they stopped using that in their logo a while ago. We got the Nintendo seal of quality on here as well. Let's take a look. The back. So the back you got Fox, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. And you have a description of the game with some screenshots. Now this game is not a very good game. Not at all. Side scroller platformer. You could kind of fly like Peter Pan but it's kind of janky to use. Not a great game. But like I said the nostalgia for me with this property is through the roof. This never got released on DVD. Luckily, all the episodes are available on YouTube. Um, like, like with a lot of these 90s shows um, that nobody has any interest in re-releasing or the shows are just lost to time, a lot of them are on YouTube, which is awesome that they're on there for preservation's sake. So uh, let's open this up. Like I said, the seal is already busted, so I'm going to just slide that open. And let's slide the game out. This is uh, bringing back some major nostalgia for me because it's been a very long time since I've opened uh, a, a brand new NES game, so this is pretty cool stuff. Alright, so let's uh, pull the game out first. What else do we have in here? Okay, we got the ad, and that's it. There's just the styrofoam at the bottom, which I don't think we need to take out. It's just a rectangle of styrofoam. We could leave that there. All right, let's start by looking at what the what the game came with. So let's start with the Danger Do Not Open flyer here. This is a Nintendo Power advertisement, I believe. You're ready to become a power animal. Nintendo Power brings out the beast in me. So this is cool, a little subscription for uh, Nintendo Power, advertisement for it. It's always cool, you don't see a lot of these anymore. This is brand new, so it's in pristine shape. I love it, everything's so crisp. Um, absolutely wonderful. So that is awesome. Okay, next we're going to take a look at the manual. Take a look at the front here. Ooh. 
I don't know if this is metallic ink they used on this, or it's just the, the varnish they uh, went over it with. Can't really tell. I think it is a metallic ink. Maybe it is just the varnish, I'm not sure. But uh, opening up, this thing is crisp because it is brand new. Super cool to see. Okay, nice manual, two TV screenshots. Because back then they didn't really have a good method of taking screenshots, so they actually would literally take a picture of the screen of the TV to get screenshots, so that's why everything was all uh, fuzzy and stuff. That's pretty cool, though. And last but not least, the game itself. So still in its original plastic, let's slide it out and take a look. Okay, here is the game. Foxes, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. Absolutely stunning, brand new game. Doesn't look like, well, it looks like it may have been taken out of the plastic at some point, but uh, the label's in perfect shape. Uh, I can't complain about this at all. The game is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So now, that is the unboxing of an NES game. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I have opened up a new NES game. And uh, what's cool about this is it does have the hang tab, so I am actually going to have to modify one of my box protectors so the hang tab could peek out, because the box protectors aren't really designed to have the hang tab in, so uh, I'm going to have to do that. Okay, so here I have my box protector, uh, which I'm going to use to put the game, in, the game box in. I'm actually going to keep the game out of the box, because like I said, it's been opened already, so... I'm, I'm gonna want to play the game and uh, let's uh, take a look here and we're gonna modify this box to fit the game box so I'm gonna start by taking my paperwork here and my plastic just fold this up how it normally would go in and let's put it back in the box just like that We'll close the box up, and now we got to modify this to support this. So, all I'm going to have to do is flip this upside down, line up the box with the thing here, and I'm just going to have to give it a little slice where it needs to be cut out on the tuck and flap. So I got my trusty Ulfa knife here. Just line, make sure I line this up as close as possible. Give it a little bit of leeway, I suppose. Just gonna give it a little mark with the knife so I know where to chop it. So now I can just quickly slice it up with the knife. So I'm just going to slice it down the lines here, like that, and then I'm going to slice it out like this. Hopefully this works out. Okay. Okay, the piece is cut out of my tuck and flap, so I can now slide the box and hopefully this works out. Slide the box in for protection. Okay, let's fold these guys down. Fold these guys down. Okay. All right, moment of truth, see if it goes in. Very good, it seems to work out so far. It does pop up a little because you're losing that support. And let's do the bottom here, now that I got the top in. Oops. Yeah, it does lose a little bit of support. It does pop up a little, but you can't. Not much you can really do about that. And fold this in like that. 
and we'll seal up the bottom here. Just try to be extra careful. I don't want to damage the uh, the plastic seal on the uh, the box there. Okay, there we go. Nice box protected sealed Peter Pan and the Pirates with the hang tag coming out. I know they also make um, box protectors that support the hang tag and they're just a little bit longer, but I, I don't have one of those. I just happen to have this laying around. And uh, so it's pretty cool that I have this now I, I kind of sealed Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirate. But I got the game out, so I can actually enjoy the game without buying a second copy. So I'm happy about that. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of a original NES game with that was kind of sealed when I got it. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. And uh, we'll see you later.